It is the erotic novel that some libraries are banning. Today, the publisher called that censorship. But we found local moms and wives checking out Fifty Shades of Grey. Courtney Garrish takes us to a book club. Courtney. Carol and Mike, to give you an idea just how popular this book is, there are more than 1,500 people on the statewide e-reader waiting list. It begs the question, what do women really want, both in life and in the bedroom? What makes a relationship? Love, sex, power. Or how about paddling, rope, leather, and chains? All topics discussed in the hottest book out there, Fifty Shades of Grey. So we challenged a local book club to read it and talk candidly about the issues it addresses. I totally did not think it was a love story. I just thought it was mainly lust. But I did find myself wanting a little bit more. I enjoyed it. For me, I think it's one of the things is, it was all about him. I felt like I was back in eighth grade on the covers <laughs> <laughs> with like one of those Judy Bloom books. <laughs> In the book, naive Anna Steele falls in love with Christian Gray, a millionaire with a penchant for domination in the bedroom. Local relationship therapist Judy Lauwasser Bruett says she's had clients who've used S&M for years. This book just brings it to the mainstream. Some have found it really hot and sexy and that it's worked and others have proposed it and it hasn't worked. We had Judy sit down with the ladies and listen to their mixed reactions. Let's get a poll here. Who liked it? Who didn't like it? Who thought it was just okay? I liked it. I found it entertaining. Yeah. The, the not like anybody, you, you didn't like it at all. Some of them commented on the control factor. I think I would have a, a lot of trouble with the control and being told what to do. I'm not very good at being told what to do. Do you trust them that you know that they'll do it because you can't you can't relinquish that control unless there's trust. Others wondered whether the book could spice up sex lives. So that I think that sometimes women will say, oh, I'd never do that or right. I wouldn't do that. And I think behind closed doors, I think this book is popular because maybe there are, are a lot of people doing those kinds of things. If I were unhappy sexually, then maybe this would help me. <laughs> In the book, Christian asks Anna to sign a lengthy relationship and sex contract outlining his rules and desires. Judy points out that's not such a bad idea. Often in therapy, that's what we talk about. What was the un unwritten contract, the unspoken contract? And when couples come to therapy, they're really coming to renegotiate the contract. Another big question, why is this book so popular? I don't know why it's so popular. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> if you kind of look at it, it's kind of helping stimulate the economy. <laughs> has more to do with timing, right? Yeah. Maybe it has more to do with like the fact that, you know, where our country is. Going back to that whole being swept off your feet, being able to forget about your problems. But many people feel that's what books are for, a chance to escape and maybe learn a little about yourself in the process. This is the first book in a trilogy. Now, most of the ladies said they do want to read that next one, even if they weren't so crazy about Fifty Shades of Grey. So we also checked the Milwaukee County Library for Fifty Shades. Every copy currently checked out, and of there's course. a waiting list. Of course. <laughs> it piques my interest. There you go. <laughs> okay, thank you, Courtney. <laughs>